Hey YouTube and welcome back to another unboxing video. So uh, as the description says these are some more pops that have come through, um, more Halloween-y kind of pops that I've been looking for and this is from a company I've never ordered from before. So this is from Pop You Like. So the the order came quite quickly and it's um, it's three pops I've been looking at for quite a while. Part of it's the completer set which I've got behind me uh, which are the Minions um, and then the other one is the completer set um, of um, more Tim Burton one so um, it's the corpse ride figurines I've managed to get hold of a Bojangles and I was really excited to get hold of him and I've just been waiting for the Emily and the Victor pops to come out so let's see what this is like so loads of really good packing so we will start with final minion pop so he was a special edition I think he was a, an American exclusive to one of the stores and this was Dave Acula so yeah Dracula version of the of the pops he's got a little bit of damage on the outside of the box but you can't really tell but other than that he's actually pretty awesome So yes, that completes the minion set. So I've managed to get hold of the other four that were available. And there was a glow-in-the-dark version of, I think it's Kevin. Yeah, Bride Kevin. So the Bride Frankenstein was a glow-in-the-dark version. So he's going to fit in really nicely in the one gap. Which is that. And miraculously, that's in number order as well. I'll get closer for those guys and show you now. So yeah, there was the um, Corpse Bride versions that were released it was supposed to be out in October, and I think because of the whole COVID situation, um, the manufacturing slowed down on an awful lot of the pops that came through. And Pop Culture, and in the UK, I think it was HMV, got as an exclusive of the Bojangles figurine. And I managed to pick up this one, absolute steal, off um, Facebook Marketplace of all places the other day. There is a glow in the dark version of this which is crazy expensive at the minute, but I am keeping my eye on it. And if the price drops slightly, I might jump on board. But to complete that set, there was a Victor figurine, which comes with his little dog scraps. And if you follow kind of the fan fictions of um, of the Tim Burton dogs, there's a theory going behind that Scraps and Zero from Night Before Christmas and Frank and Weenie from Frank and Weenie are all the same dog, but in different forms. See this, that's Victor. And as I said, there's the corpse bride of the Emily figure. And if you're interested in more of the Halloween-y stuff, um, I think two days ago back, it was Funko Ween was started. And if you go and have a look at the, 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 the releases that have come out for that time, there is a limited edition Emily figurine that is coming out. It's been given a Hot Topic exclusive in the States. And I want to say it's a Tesco's exclusive in the UK. And it's a different version of Emily. It's kind of a dead version of Emily. There's a scene in the film where the worm pops out of her eye. And that is the figurine that is being released. Sorry, my camera stopped. Uh, but yet yeah, the figurine with the worm popping out of the eye is going to be the figure that's going to be released later in the year. Hopefully that'll be out for the autumn time. So yeah, it's nice to have Emily and Victor kind of represented now through the Funko um, figurines into the Funko world which is quite nice um, hopefully they do some more of the other characters some of the um, kind of the rest of the, the, the Dead City and things are really cool characters it'd be nice to see them kind of elaborated and expanded on within the world that they're doing um, but yeah loads of stuff that's coming through on Funko we need some really cool looking um, figurines later to come out in the year which will be great um, the Emily figure looks like this 
Um, and as I said, it's an exclusive for um, Hot Topic in the States and for Tesco's in the UK. I'm sure it'll pop up in other places as well. There has been some um, Night Before Christmas pieces which have been um, shown already and I believe that for pre-order on a couple of the sites, uh, I know Pop in a Box, which is a site that I don't really use, they, the, they, they haven't, their customer service isn't the best sometimes. Um, they, they've been announced on there, they're ready for pre-order, but I'm waiting for them to pop up on some of the other sites as well. Um, and I'm assuming, guessing, it's going to happen. There'll probably be one or two exclusives that come through on Funko Europe as well, um, which is just an exciting thing. Um, but there's some more um, stuff coming. Um, and yeah, in get some close-ups of these guys. I'll let you see what they look like um, up close and personal. And until next time, guys, as always, take care.